Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on the play. I'm Dave Morris. Today we'll take a look at uh, some stories that feature Hollywood, football, weather, possibly some pancakes. But first, the parents of Jackson Signs wait patiently for a call that would literally save their son's life. Jackson needs a liver transplant and he's quickly running out of time. The four-year-old has been on the waiting list for 10 months. His parents say they have learned to lean on each other to help get through the difficult time. It's been hard, really hard. But you know, it's made us stronger. A family, it's made us stronger as our marriage. Because, I mean, you have to stay strong for your kid. You'll do anything for your kid. It's a good story, one that our Diana Baldwin is working on. She will have more on Jackson and his family in Thursday's editions, as well as some information on how you can help the Signs family. Two men on Oklahoma's death row have filed a lawsuit against the state corrections department claiming that the extreme secrecy surrounding their upcoming executions makes it impossible to know whether their executions will be carried out in a humane and constitutional manner. Our Graham Brewer reports the suit follows a similar one filed in Missouri, a ban from that state on purchasing pentobarbital from an Oklahoma compounding pharmacy and a lawsuit from the UC Berkeley Law School against the DOC for not responding to a records request for the same information. A conditional income tax cut bill that could trim Oklahoma's top income tax rate by a quarter percent beginning in the tax year 2016 was heard late this afternoon in the State House Appropriations and Budget Committee. The tax rate would not take place until growth revenues are sufficient to offset any loss to the state from revenues currently generated by the state's five and a quarter percent top rate. Our Randy Ellis is working on that story. Former Oklahoma quarterback Kendall Thompson will be suiting up for the University of Utah next season. That university's Twitter page made that announcement Wednesday morning. Now Thompson follows another former Sooner quarterback to Utah. You'll remember Tommy Grady transferred from OU to Utah back in 2005. He started three games there in two seasons. Our sports staff will also make their predictions on which OU and OSU players will be drafted first and who has the most to prove at Pro Day. Hollywood will put on their finest attire and step onto the red carpet on Sunday for the Oscars. Yo Clemens, Brandy McDonald, and George Lane take a look at several of the categories and the leading candidates in a series of videos, blogs, and articles leading up to the big event. What do you think is going to happen this Sunday? Well, I think this Sunday is not going to be a surprise when it comes to <laughs> Best Actress. Kate Blanchett, there's never been an actress I don't think that's had momentum like she's had momentum. She's won everything leading mm. up to this, and there's just hardly a scenario you can imagine where it's like you've won everything but we're not going to give you an Oscar. <laughs> um, I just don't think that that's going to happen. I right. think you're going to see her uh, walk away with with the Oscar as well. So George and Brandy outline each of the categories of the major categories of the Oscars. A different video is posted each day this week on NewsOK.com. Be sure to go browse through all of those and I believe those two will be live blogging during Sunday's events. Well we could see warmer temperatures Thursday Highs are expected to be in the 50s. Friday, even better, or at least warmer, with a high close to 70. But the warm weather won't last long. The National Weather Service posted this cool graphic. Looks like a roller coaster because that's exactly what's going to happen. We'll see a slight dip in temperatures on Saturday. Ooh, and a cool down on Sunday and a chance of some winter precipitation. Well, there was a sticky situation on I-44 this morning. as syrup poured out of a tractor trailer. The right lane, look at that. The right lane of the highway was closed while crews mopped up the mess. I'll go ahead and drop this on you. One of the commenters on NewsOK.com said they hope the cleanup crew didn't waffle around on that. Pretty good stuff. All right, these stories and more can be found upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on our website at NewsOK.com. Have a great night, everybody.